Good morning, I'm Faven Kay and here are the stories making headlines locally. Today you have the chance to meet a furry friend named Winnie and his firefighter friends at the local adoption event Mutts and Fire Trucks. Today Winnie and the Kern County Fire Department will be out at the station on 7900 Downing Avenue to help you find a furry friend to take home. Pet Matchmaker Rescue and Marley's Mutts will also be on hand. Along with the adoption will come one free dog set training session for Marley's Mutts. And it's important to note that the adoption fee is waived for active and retired military personnel. There will also be food, drinks, and music, so head on down and pick up a new best friend. That event is happening today from 1 to 4 p.m. And after you pick up your new best friend, you too can head on over to Heritage Park for a free Parvo and Distemper Vaccine Clinic. A safer place in Bakersfield Boxers and Bullies will have booths set up to keep your pet safe and healthy. The first 100 dogs with proof of vaccination from today's event will get a free spay or neuter at a clinic in Bakersfield sponsored by Basic Needs New Foundation. And the first 50 to 60 dogs with proof of vaccination will also receive a small bag of dog food. That's happening today from 2 to 4 p.m. at Heritage Park on Bernard Street near Mount Vernon Avenue. Today, local women will ride their bicycles in solidarity for the Pink Ride for Breast Cancer Awareness. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and all women are invited today to join in on that ride. Donations will be accepted for Links for Life, and all ladies are encouraged to wear pink. The ride starts at Finish Line Bicycles on Stockdale Highway and ends at Ethel's Old Corral Cafe on Alfred Harrell Highway. After the ride, Ethel's will provide a free lunch for all riders on the back patio. You can still RSVP for the lunch. Just send an email to that contact right there on your screen. Anyone is free to come along and join the ride, but don't forget to bring your water. That's leaving this morning at 1030. And now 23 ABC's Amanda Mason has a look at your Sunday forecast. It's going to be an absolute beautiful day, but we have risen to an AQI of 100 for our air quality. We still are at moderate, just one digit away from unhealthy for sensitive groups, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Now, looking at this time of year, last year, a normal temperature is around 78 degrees. Yesterday was a high of 87. Today, we're going to see a high of 85. But our temperatures are slowly going to drop into the beginning of next week to those lower 80s, and that is because of this lower pressure system that is off the central coast of California moving into the valley and as we take a closer look into our county region. There is a storm that is going over through Las Vegas, but it's going to be trickling down into the mountain areas. Fraser Park, you have a 20% chance of thunderstorms today after 11 a.m. But moving to our region as well for dry climate. We are going to experience a little bit of humidity from that lower pressure system, but it is still going to continue to be dry, so don't forget to hydrate and moisturize. So our seven day forecast here, a high of 85 and then we're slowly dropping down to 82 Monday and then 81 on Tuesday and continuing through the week. And then towards the end of the week, we're gonna raise those temperatures up again. So looking at across Kern County right here, Kern River Valley is High of 79, low of 52. We'll continue with those high 70s and then climb back up to even next Saturday around 85. And then to Hatchapi, you're going to stay in those low 70s, again climbing by the end of the week. But today in Tehachapi, a high of 73, low of 46. And then in Fraser Park, that's that 20% thunderstorm chance that I was talking about at a high of 66, low of 43. So we'll continue to watch that storm as it progresses. It's a slight chance, but it's something we wanted to mention because what we have seen over the radar with clouds starting to cover that area. And again, in Fraser Park, you will just continue to get warmer and warmer throughout the rest of next week. All right, Amanda, we'll certainly keep an eye on those thunderstorm chances. Thank you for that. That's what's making headlines at this hour. We'll have another update for you later today. Hope you have a great Sunday.